Ryan, are you sure about getting neutered? I am. You've seen everything George Townsend's accomplished. That's the life I've always dreamed of. Yes, but how much do you really know about him? Have you read his books? Of course I've read his books. They changed my life. Look, Stewie, this is a huge step for me, and if you can't support me, well, then maybe I should cut you out of my life, too. Brian, that's a closet. I know. I have stuff to do in here. Well, nothing left to do but binge watch Ken Burns' History of Jazz. What? The rhythmic drums of the Congo. 300 years later, Charlie Bird Parker. Oh. Lois, what are you doing here? Did someone die? Do I get to go home early? Well, Peter, since you were having that jeans fun, I thought it might be fun to come by and sell some of my homemade jewelry to your co-workers during lunch. What? Lois, you can't do that. Once a guy's wife sells something in the break room, no one ever looks at him the same. Everyone, I'm Peter Griffin's wife. I took a jewelry making class last month with a group of preschool moms, and now I'm gonna do it as a career. Greetings, Lois. Oh my God, Peter, you're gonna make me vomit. I'm just getting in some size. That's what I call exercise now, size. Oh, God, Peter, please put that thing in the garage and change your clothes. Oh, I'd be happy to, Lois. But I'm not doing it because you said. I'm doing it because of the mean seventh graders who've been chucking footballs at me all day. There he is. Let's get that fat dork. I'm home. Home is safe. <clears throat> home is safe. Where are the glasses? I moved them. What? Why? I moved everything. All the glasses, the bowls, the plates. Nothing is where it's been for the past 17 years. Nothing. I'm gonna become a DJ. I'm going to hire a life coach. I'm gonna make one political donation with your email address so you'll be screwed for life. I'm going to rededicate my life to Christ. Oh, that's really bad. Every time a waiter tells me their name, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna get really into Halloween, like really into it. Gross. I'm gonna wear a denim shirt with the Looney Tunes guys embroidered on it to church every Sunday. So... What do you think of my haircut now? It's ugly. I hate it. How you feeling, buddy? Good. Nervous, but strangely excited. I haven't been totally honest with you. I was never neutered. But you're about to be. What? No! Save me, Sensei Dan! No neutering, what? guys. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What did I do to you that was so bad? You abandoned me. You promised we'd be there for each other forever. Then the minute Peter Griffin came along, you just got in his car and left me. I was gonna come back and get you, and, and then and then Trump happened, and, and all that. Liar! I've wanted to cut your balls off for years, but the fact that you're choosing to do it yourself is so much more satisfying. But I'm not choosing to do it myself. I love my balls. They smell awful. Stewie, you, you saved me. Oh, well, almost. What is it? Oh, my God, they got one! Or oh, you still have one. Maybe you should be a scrotum half-full guy. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, I abandoned you, and I didn't go back to find you. I'm a bad friend, I admit it. But did you ever think that you should be thanking me? Thanking you? For what? For everything you have. Your hatred for me is what motivated you your whole life. Without me, none of this would have been possible. I made you. You've already got one of my balls. Isn't that enough? You know what, Brian? It is enough. You'll probably keep it in a trophy case or something. Oh, no. I ate it already. Dogs are gross. Who's to blame? Who's to blame? What's his name? We know his name. His name is Mr. Boots. Mr. Boots. Mr. B-O-O-Z. He don't ever choose any game you play with. Your head feels like it's two miles wide.